All of our phone have sensors. We all know that. But do we make the most out of it? No, we don't. And that's why in this video, I'm going to show you some useful as well as fun ways through which you can use your mobile phone sensors. Yes. So let's just jump into it. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kaushal and you're watching TechHoop. So today in this video, we're going to talk about some creative ways you can use your mobile phone sensors and definitely leave a mark on your friends or family or at least someone will be impressed in your life, okay? Yeah. So first thing first, we do need to know what kind of sensors are present on our phone, right? So that's why there is this tiny app called Sensors. You can download it and through that you will know what all sensors are present in your phone. So once you're sure about that, after that you can refer to the list of all the sensors that I'll be compiling now. Because if you don't have the sensors, then what's the point of the app, right? So my first pick for using sensors is called Vibrometer. Yes, there is an app called Vibrometer. You can download it from the Play Store. Link will be in the description. And as the name suggests, this app basically measures vibrations. So if there is an earthquake going on, you can use this app on your phone, keep it on the ground and feel the vibration. Yes, as I said in the first section, it is very useful. This is the first thing you should do when you are in an earthquake. Use your phone to measure the vibrations. The next app in my list is of Wi-Fi Analyzer. Yes, this app is actually very handy and if you want some uninterrupted good streaming of Wi-Fi which has an active and a good connection with your phone, then this is the app you need to use. So if there are a lot of Wi-Fi networks around you, you can open this app and see the strength of each and every network. So you can easily choose the one which has the strongest strength and directly connect to it and thus making sure that you get the best out of that Wi-Fi. Next app on my list is Motion Detector Pro. And as the name suggests, it detects motion. So if you have a spare phone lying around somewhere, or if you want to just make sure that a particular place is as stable as possible, you can just set it up somewhere and it is actually very easy to use. So all you have to do is just place it somewhere and turn it on and that's it. So if any motion is detected, it will just sound an alarm, take a photo and just save it in your phone. So you can know that where a motion was created. And it is extremely accurate because I've tested it out myself and it definitely works. So do you want to measure your heartbeat? Well, all you have to do is go to the doctor, get a stethoscope, put it to your heart and measure it. Or the another alternative is just place your fingers here and measure it. But that is what boomers do, not us. We use our phones to measure our heartbeats. So all you have to do is just open the app and place your finger on the camera. And according to the flashes, it will measure your heartbeat and 90% of the time it is actually accurate. So this is one of the cool ways to measure heartbeat if your phone does not have a heartbeat measuring sensor. Some of the Samsung's phones used to have that, right? But most of the phones don't. So this is a creative way to do it. Okay, so I'll just tell you this quick badass story that I did recently. So as the name suggests in the sound meter, it basically just uh, measures the decibel of sounds. So recently my mom was shouting on me. I opened the app and I showed her like how loud she is. And since then she's offended and she hasn't spoken to me since two days now. Yes, so you can do that. Next time you have fights with someone or your girlfriend or boyfriend is shouting on you or anyone is shouting on you, just tell them how loud they are and it will definitely trigger them. So whenever you see a surface, have you ever been curious how inclined that is? How many degrees has it been? Like for example, this table over here, if I put something, it is definitely zero degrees, I know that. But what if it was a little bit crooked? Won't, it, won't you be curious to know how many degrees it is? No, and even I want to be. But in case, if anyone is ever, then you can use this app. Actually, it has a lot of practical applications, but for a daily usage, it is just for this. You can just open your app and place it on the surface and it will tell you how many degree it has been crooked or rotated, whatever. And last and not the least, everyone knows this, so I'll just quickly wrap it up in 10 seconds. It is the compass app. You can see what direction is where. So always go north, always go south, east, west. India is the best. So yeah, that was my quick list on 
creative ways to use your mobile phone sensor smash that dislike button if you did not like this video and in case if you actually liked it you know what to do so thank you guys for watching my name is Kaushal peace out Bad. Good.